started here with Illustrator. The first thing you want to do is just set up a new document that's sized at 1280 by 1280 pixels and you should be you should have the view that I have here on my screen and we just want to set up our documents so that we're all working with a similar view. I'm going to go up here to where it says view and I want to turn off snap to pixel and I want to turn off anything else that's selected anything other than snap to point. Snap to point is the only thing we want selected from the view drop down over here and then from the window drop down to make sure we have the same windows over here on the right uh, we're going to want the align window checked. We want color checked and then stroke. So we have those three windows visible. And once we've done that, we'll be good to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an actual regular triangle shape. I'm going to click and hold on the star tool till we get our fly up menu. And I'm going to choose star over here. This will originally be set to rectangle. So click and hold onto the rectangle tool and choose star. And then come over here to the canvas and click and drag. And you notice it's creating a star shape but we want three sides instead of five so what I'm going to do is while holding this click I'm going to press down on the arrow key and it's going to bring it down to three sides like that and once I've done that I'll hold shift so it locks it onto the vertical or the uh, the horizontal axis like that and we end up with a nice perfect triangle shape and what I want to do now is I want to fill this in with black so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click this little swap fill and stroke icon and it's going to fill it with black and it's going to give it a white outline but we don't want a, uh, a white outline so I'm going to come up here to this drop down and I'm going to click the red slash to get rid of that and then we can just click out of that to get rid of it and once we've done that I want to take the opacity of this triangle and bring it down about in half and then click out of that and once we've done that I'll grab the select tool and I'm going to grab this uh, triangle and over here in the align panel I want to come over here where it says align to I want to make sure we have that set to align to artboard and once we've done that I want to align it on the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis so that it's centered up on the artboard like that and once we've done that I'm going to create a, a, a copy of this triangle I'm going to click and drag it and then hold shift and alt and just bring it over to the right slightly like that to create another copy that's slightly over to the right. Now I'm going to zoom in on this so I can see it better. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times. I'm going to grab the pen tool now, which is over here. The keyboard shortcut is P. And I'm going to snap to this top left point and click. Then I'll come over here and snap to this point and click. And then over here to this corner. Then up here. And then back to the starting point. So that we end up with a shape like that. And I'm going to make this a shade of red. I'm going to go with something like that. And uh, I'll grab the select tool. I'll click on this shape until we get our opacity menu up here. I'm going to take the opacity and bring that down about in half as well. And once we've done that, we could take this black triangle, press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And the same thing with this black triangle, press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And what I want to do now is click on this original shape that we have here and then click and drag and then hold shift and alt. So it creates another copy and locks it onto the vertical axis like that. Just like that is what we want. And what we're going to do now is come over here to the rotate tool. I'm going to double click on that so we can set the actual degree. And I want to set the degree to 120. And you could toggle the preview off and on to see what it looks like. And it should be sitting nice and flat horizontally like that. I'll go ahead and click OK. And I just want to make sure that that's aligned on the horizontal and vertical axis as well. So go ahead and click that just to make sure it's set. And what I'm going to do next is I'll come over here to the select tool. I'm going to create a copy of this original red shape so go ahead and click on that then click and drag and then hold shift and alt to create a copy coming out here and I'm gonna make this one green and what I want to do now is just flip this horizontally to do that I'm gonna click and hold on the rotate tool so I get the reflect tool and I'll just bring the cursor outside of the shape and just rotate it around like that until it's mirrored the opposite way and then just hold shift to lock it onto that axis just like that we can let go of everything and there we have that shape but mirrored the other way and what I'll do next is I'll grab the select tool I'm gonna hold control and grab this top right node and snap it onto this node of the red shape right here just like that and as you can see here it's snapped on there uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another copy of that. So I'm going to click and drag this green shape and then hold shift and alt. Bring it over to the left a little bit. Hold the control key, grab this node, snap it onto this node right there. So we kind of have like double, double the shapes right there. And what I want to do now is I want to click and drag over everything. So we have it all selected. And I'm going to come over here to the shape builder tool. And with the shape builder tool, I'm going to hold alt and click on this little piece up here to get rid of that. 
Then I'll hold Alt again, click on this little piece right here to get rid of that. And then I'll hold Alt again, click on this little piece right there to get rid of that. And then while not holding any key, I'm just going to click and drag a line through this left side here to connect all those shapes together into a single shape. And now we can go back to the Select tool, click off of it to deselect everything. And I'm going to take this shape and delete it, take this shape, delete it, this one, delete it, and this one, delete it. And again, to, to do that, I'm just pressing delete on the keyboard. Uh, what I want to do next is I want to take this red shape right here and I want to hold Alt and click and drag that to create a copy of it. And then I'll hold Control, grab this node right here and snap it onto this node down here. So we end up with that right there. And what I'll do next is I'm going to create another copy of this. I'm going to click and drag and then hold Alt so it creates a duplicate copy. And I want to just unify these three shapes together. So I'm going to click and drag over everything. Let me go back to the uh, Shape Builder tool and just draw lines through these shapes so we connect them all together like that. So it's one single shape. Now we can go back to the Select tool, click off of it to deselect everything, and take just this shape right here, and I'm going to make this green. And I just want to rotate this around so it's flipped vertically. So to do that, I'm going to bring the cursor to the outside of the top right node until it, the cursor turns into a rotate icon. And once it's turned into a rotate icon, you can just click and drag to rotate it around, hold shift on the keyboard until it locks just like that on the other side, then hold control, grab this node, snap it over here onto this node like that. And what I'll do is I'll create another copy of that. So I'll hold alt and click and drag it. And I'll make this one blue. And I want to rotate this one around. So to do that, let me click and hold on the Reflect tool so we get our flyout menu. I can choose the Rotate tool. And then I'll double click on the Rotate tool so we can choose the actual degree. I'm going to hit 6-0 and let me just toggle off. Okay, there we go. Um, 60 degrees. Go ahead and click OK. Go back to the Select tool. Hold Alt. Grab this node. Snap it over here onto this node so it fits in there in the corner like that. And let me just zoom out a little bit. Again, to, to zoom, I'm just holding Alt and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. To move the page, you could press down the space bar and then click and drag. And what we have now is we have the basic shape that we need. We're going to create two more copies of these shapes here and connect them all together to, to, to get the outcome of uh, the design. So I'm going to click and drag over all of this, bring the opacity all the way up to 100%, and then click out of that. And I want to make this three different colors. So I have, uh, well, well, three different colors, a light shade, a medium shade, and a dark shade. This red shade right here is going to be our medium shade. This blue shade, I'm going to make this a dark shade. So I'm going to go with like a dark red, something like that. And for this one up here, I'll click on that. I'll make this one a light shade, like a light red like that. And what I'll do now is I'll click and drag over all of these, bring these over to the left of the artboard, and then click and drag them and hold Shift and Alt to create more copies and click off of it to deselect everything. And what I'll do is I'll click on this medium shade, and I'm going to grab the dropper tool over here and make this the dark shade like that. And I'll go back to the select tool, click on this shape right here. Uh, actually, no, I'll click on this shape right here, and then I'll go back to the dropper. We're going to go back and forth between the dropper and the select tool. So instead of going over here to this menu and manually clicking on it, I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcut for the dropper is I. And with the dropper tool, I'll just click on that medium shade of red. Then I'll press V on the keyboard, which is the keyboard shortcut for the select tool. Click on this shape right here. Press I for the dropper and make this the light shade like that. And I'll go back to the select tool. I'll click and drag over all of these shapes and create one more copy. So I'll click and drag and then hold Shift and Alt so it creates another copy like that. Now we can click off of it to deselect everything. I'm going to click on just this dark shade shape right here. Press I for the dropper, make this the light shade. Press V to go back to the select tool, click on this one. And uh, again, I for the dropper, I'll make this the dark shade of red. V to get back to the select tool, click on this. Press I for the dropper and make this the medium shade of red. And now we have the three different segments that we need. So I'm going to go back here to the select tool. I'm going to click and drag over these objects right here in the center. And I'm going to group them together by hitting Control G on the keyboard. And I'll do the same thing to these objects over here. Click and drag over them, hit Control G to, to, to uh, group them on the keyboard. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this middle grouping of shapes right here. I'm going to double click on the Rotate tool and I'm going to set this to 120. And go ahead and click OK. And once we've done that, I'm going to hold Control, grab. Um, oops, you know what? I got to go back to the Select tool. Hold Control, grab this node, and just snap it onto this node over here. 
just like that. And what I'll do now is I'll take this shape, double click on the rotate tool. I'll, rate, I'll rotate this 240 degrees, go ahead and click OK. Go back to the select tool, hold control, grab this node and snap it onto this node right here. Click and drag over everything and just bring it towards the center of the page. And as you can see, we have finished. We've created our impossible triangle shape using Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.